Thalion here, and welcome back to Pocket Mirror, an RPG Maker horror game. We are playing Hide and Seek with Fleeta. Last time we played Hide and Seek with Fleeta, things went terribly, terribly wrong. But I thought about it, because I've had a day to think about this, or a day or two to think about this, and I think I know where I need to hide. Shut up, Fleeta, I don't care about what you're doing. Yeah, 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 you're gonna go do some stuff. <laughs> Because last time, Fleeta murdered me because I wasn't playing by the rules and I read her diary and, oh crap, it's already 30 seconds. But I remembered something that the Mirror of Truth told me on the way out of the room. And it said, like, if I ever find myself too deep into Fleeta's madness that I should go find solace with it, which I found to be a very weird statement at the time. But, oh god, that's so creepy. Oh god, it's making the creepy noises. Please tell me I'm right. Oh, did I, f oh, I think I made a mistake. Oh, what? What is this? Let's just go in it. You know what? I don't know. This might end up killing me, but okay, so that I thought we would just walk through the mirror like we did at the beginning of the game, but I mean, okay, that works. I guess I was right. I'm glad that the game gave me that hint. What does this say? It's a letter. Acquired Libre Fleurbre. Okay, that's fine. Wait, what does this say? <gasps> this must be the letter spoken about during the play um, earlier in Egliot's world. Uh, hello? I am writing you this letter on my deathbed in order to cleanse myself of my own demons. I don't have much time left, nor do I have the right time. Yeah, we need to restart that. I don't have much time left, nor do I have the right to bind you to my rules any longer. Unfortunately, my sins have now become your burden. Mother will not be able to accompany her little girl on her painful journey, but please, do not doubt these feelings I harbor for you, my precious children. My, my mouth went like butter there. I don't know what I mean by butter, but it went like flabbergasty. Um, the rest of the letter is completely scratched out. Well, that wasn't very helpful. Hi, Fleeta. Please don't kill me. What are you doing here? Oh, God, she's creepy eyes. She's got the creepy eyes now. Fleet, I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, I, I didn't even get to read that. I asked what you were doing here. I was hiding. Answer me. Can you stop it with the demon bullshit? Nothing. I just, I just, you just what? I was hiding. Just say you were hiding. I told you I want you to stay here with me, to be my friend and live in my home with me. But all you care about are those selfish lies. Can you please stop turning the room red? That's very impolite. I hate lies, I hate lies, I hate lies, I hate lies, I hate lies. Oh, but Fleet, I'm not. You're coming with me, miss. Please don't kill me. To the place where ill-behaved girls belong. Oh God, she's so weird. Do I die again? Oh, I'm alive. Okay, so that, ooh. Ooh, okay, I thought I was gonna kill me again and I was gonna have to look for something else. You've been a bad friend, miss. <laughs> Fleeta, don't leave me here. Don't worry, I'll come visit you once in a while to see how you're doing. <laughs> Goodbye, miss. <laughs> Fleeta, no! Okay, so we are now trapped somewhere. And Fleeta has proven herself to be a b, -b, -b bitch I need to get out of here. Uh, do I have a light? Uh, can I, can I eat the candy cane? Oh, there are, okay, so the blah, 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 has three parts to it. Interesting. It said when I'm in the darkest of darks, use the candy can- Okay, well, let's just walk around. Hope that I can find some- Is this a pumpkin? The small doll aimlessly stares at the ceiling, silently muttering to herself. Why is the doll muttering to herself? That's not really acceptable. Please don't do that. I don't like dolls. Can I just- Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's going on? You're finally here! Please, no, I don't like dolls. We've been expecting you, miss. You're finally here. She's as beautiful as I thought she would be, so why were, they, why were they expecting me? Of course she is. She's the chosen one, so they don't want to kill me. I'm the chosen one. Thank God. I need to get out of here. Or wait, is Cho- oh, Okay, <laughs> doll, don't be scared. We're not your enemies. We're just glad you're finally here with us. You're the chosen one. Okay, I guess. That's cool. Stop that, mice. Jeez, get out of here, mice. Hello, creepy. God, this attic's actually rather large. Oh, God. Covered in grimy fur, the big teddy bear gazes into emptiness. Pitch black, thick tears slowly drip down his stained cheeks. Oh, God, it looks really depressed. Ah. Oh, look, a bear skin rug. Oh, I thought it was going to come to life there for a second, which is... Oh, pumpkin. Oh, a friendly pumpkin. This place isn't so bad, right? <laughs> I have so many friends here. It's a really pleasant place. You should really try playing with the dolls. They're actually pretty nice when you get to know them. Okay, who are you? You look like a, the big head honcho doll. It's that doll again. Oh, is that the doll from earlier or? Oh, this is the doll from the very beginning when I first went through the mirror. Oh, hello. Whoa. Okay, thank you for warping reality. That's cool. Where did it go? You were looking right at it. Where do you think it went? 
Oh, I guess she did turn left to right, but when did a chair get there? Let's read. There was once a little witch who lived in the woods near town. She played all day, casting spells and flying around. This game really likes to rhyme. One day at the break of dawn, five girls headed to the forest looking for berries. Uh, D Mabel and Dorothy, sworn best friends as close as two peas in a pod, both received their blessings from God. Uh, what does that say? The two, Giletta and Isabella, standing as the youngest and yet said to be the strongest, Gianta and Isabella. Madeline was the town liar who despised her mother's many warnings and insisted on playing with fire. So this is a group of five people. Eventually they came across the little witch and beheld her wonderful magic. Mesmerized by the wonderful scenery, the girls asked the witch how she did it. Kind and nice as she was, the little, gl the little glitch, the little witch gladly revealed her secret. It's all thanks to my magic wand! With this, you won't have to learn any kind of magic. Up the up the do. They also call it a flashlight. She told them, brandishing the tool in the air. I probably should have finished that line a little bit quicker. We should share if we can share if you want. Each of you can have it for a single day before handing it back to me. She's very nice about like just handing out this magic. Overwhelmed with joy, the five girls celebrated with excitement. However, you must not allow greed to tempt your young hearts, for if my wand is not returned, I shall burn the thief at the stake. Oh god. And so the little witch bid them farewell, leaving the girls to partake of her magic. Upon her return, the magic wand was nowhere to be found. So somebody stole it. Infuriated by the girl's betrayal, the witch promptly sought out the culprit. She tied each girl to a different stake, threatening to burn them all if they dared lie to her. Who dared steal my most precious belonging, the witch asked the girls, to which they replied. Madeline did it! Dorothy always says the truth, cried Mabel. Oh god, it's gonna be a logic. It's gonna be a logic. But I need a piece of paper. I need a piece of paper. Giuletia is a liar. Mabel stole the wand, screamed Dorothy. Okay, but wait, doesn't that... But wouldn't Mabel have just incriminated herself? Because Mabel said that Dorothy always tells the truth. Hmm. Dorothy's innocent. Isabella would never lie, plead Gialetta. Okay, so now Gialetta's claiming that Dorothy's innocent. I have a note card here. Keep in track of this. So Gialetta's claiming that Dorothy's innocent. Um, but in saying that Isabella tells the truth. But Dorothy's claiming that... Gilead a lie. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Madeline may be a liar, but I know she didn't do it, exclaimed Isabella. You can trust Maybell. I'm sure it was Gialetta who stole the wand, shouted Madeline. Whoever the culprit was, it said she was mercil mercilessly burned to death, pleading for forgiveness until her very last breath. Oh, did I not? I wrote all, did I write all that down for nothing? Was that not meant to be a puzzle? Well, I guess that's scrapped. What a horrible story! Oh, okay, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Who dared steal my most precious belongings, said the witch. Oh, okay, so now I have to answer. So there was a point to all of that. Oh, oh, I can actually move around now. Do I have a save point? Do I, can I talk to the witch? No. Oh, acquired a box of matches. You must now fulfill your fate, miss. Oh, okay, so I do have to logic it out. So let's see, I have a note card here. So, Maybell claims that Dorothy always tells the truth. Um, Dorothy calls G Can you stop that? Dorothy calls Giletia a liar. She Giletia claims that Isabella always tells the truth, but that Dorothy is innocent. Isabella claims that Madeline is a liar. And Madeline claims that Maybell tells the truth. Oh god, I just saw my eyes reflected in, like, the camera and thought I saw something behind me that was creepy. Oh my god. Oh god, I, I was like, oh god. But, okay. So if I assume that this line starting with Maybell is correct, like, the line of, like, who's telling the truth, I can assume that Madeline is a liar, and Ma but Madeline's saying that the Maybell tells the truth, um... If we assume that liars only tell lies, because that's the thing, a liar can tell a truth and a lie, because all he's had at least two components. Sorry, this is getting really, like, as technical, I guess, as I can think of it. But if we're assuming that liars can only tell lies, let you just put on my thinking pen. If we're assuming that liars can only tell lies, then I can just trace it down if I assume that one person's telling the truth and see if it's an internally consistent. I'm going to do some thinking and do make some graphs, and will you stop it with the creaking? And then I will get back to you. Okay, listen to my logic. Okay, so basically, starting from Maybell, if you if you assume that Maybell is telling the truth initially, 
Um, basically, it leads you down the chain of girls until you get to, if you assume that nothing's going wrong with the weird culprits, when you get to Madeline, um, you, or you get to Isabella, you, who claims that Madeline is a liar. If you take that new information and assume that Madeline is the liar, um, it ends up making Maybell not tell the truth, and then it also eliminates Gialerta, or Gialetta, as a culprit. Maybell claims that Madeline is a culprit, but if she's a liar, then Madeline's not a culprit, and Dorothy is also a liar. Then, I know this is getting complicated, and if you're not writing it down, it kind of gets convoluted. But then, Dorothy claims that Gialetta is a liar, but that would mean that Gialetta is telling the truth. She also claims that Mabel's a culprit, which means Mabel's not. Gialetta claims that Dorothy is innocent, and if, if Gialetta is telling the truth, well, he's stuck with the Kraken. Then, okay, so, which means that, um, the, Dor uh, Dorothy is, uh, er, uh, innocent, and Isabella also tells the truth. So if you sw skip on over to Isabella, Isabella says that Madeline's a liar and that Madeline's innocent. So that only leaves two candidates, Isabella and Gialetta, for who stole the wand. And then Madeline claims that Gialetta is the culprit. But Gialetta is not the culprit um, because she's a liar. That only leaves Isabella. And I hope I was correct in thinking about it. Is this Isabella? Madeline may be a liar, but I know she didn't do it. I'm gonna burn Isabella. I think that's the right. I think that's the right course of action. I think I followed the tree. Oh, I think I did it right. I got a key. Yes. Divine punishment has been rightfully administered. Okay, so we can leave now. Holy crap! That felt really like solid and good. That was a good puzzle. That was a super solid puzzle that required like assuming things and then tracing it like almost like a graph. It was really good. I, I really enjoyed that. I thought that was really cool. Probably wasn't as interesting for you guys because I couldn't. I don't know. I don't think I can put up a graphic of this. I might be able to. We'll see. It just well, depends on. It's already 3 a.m. It depends on how Editor Thalion feels. Feeling good, brother. Scissors. Hello. Let's take them. Acquired a pair of rusty scissors. Maybe I could use these to get out of here. Hi. Well, that's my new way out, right? Or no? No, why did the screen go dark? Oh, that's because I automatically went through it. It's these notes again. Oh, you took my most precious belonging from me. It's the only fitting I do the same. Oh, is that, I wonder, is that um, Fleeta saying that? Is that why she wants to take my pocket mirror? Maybe. Well, she did say it was stupid and she didn't want it, Babaka. Um, okay, so that's all that that is there. Is there anything else? Well, there's a mirror. Might as well look in it. There's hair coming out of this mirror. Oh, no. Run. Just run. Well, there's hair coming out of this mirror. It's a ghosty mirror. Um. Well, what if I cut it? What if I... Cut it? Cut the... Oh, I thought I could cut the hair. Okay. Is that all that there is there? In there? Whoa. What was that? What was that? Just keep... Uh, let's go back in. Did anything change in here when I left? No? Okay. It's all... Okay. So I guess I can head back down and something changed in the way that I came from. So that makes sense. I guess that's reasonable. I discovered something. Hello? What was the crash? At least the witch is gone. God, I wish it wasn't so squeaky. Hello? I really would also like a save point, please. Can I go a little bit farther than before, or am I going crazy? I need to cross over to the other side somehow. Um, do I need to go collect something, or do I just need to skip on over? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I wish I had more lighting here. Jeez. Oh, there's a save point right here. Oh, okay, everything's... Okay, was that save point always there, or did it just appear here? What do I do? I can't get out. Well, the only way to go is forward, then. Oh, my God, it all lit up. Yeah, no, don't know. I liked the light. Why? What do you want to get out for? I thought you were staying here with us. I, I'm not staying here. Please, miss, don't leave us. We need you, miss. Oh, Dalton. No... You must stay. Please stop getting redder. You're not allowed to leave. I have to leave this place. I would like to save. Thank you. I'm happy. I'm so happy. Don't hate me, doll. Uh, the doll's eyeballs roll wildly in their sockets as she mutters incomprehensible gibberish. So she's basically ugly, just like... <laughs> There's something chasing me. There's something chasing me. There's something chasing me. Through there. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Why is it locked? Where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? Where am I? Oh god, it's chasing me. Oh god, it's so fucking chasing me. Oh oh oh. Down 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 around 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 around. Go 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 get up 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 up. Oh no. What is that? What is that? What did you do? I need to cross the other side. There was a doll there. Ah, I'm so boned. I'm boned. I'm boned. Just go back the way I came. Can I cross? over yeah. 
Yeah, that didn't go well. That didn't go well. I don't know. I'm supposed to do. That sucked. Here we go. I'm gonna do the chase scene again. I'm assuming I have to find something to cross. Okay, go. Go, go, go. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I had a bad start. I had a bad start. And would it be over on the left? I didn't see anything over on the right. Can I go down? Oh, God. They're all cha- Ah, this is the same path as before. Ah, crap. Yep, yep. I'm gonna mulligan this one. Yep, yep. We're doing this again. Thanks for that. Okay, let's go right this time. How does right sound? Right sounds a little bit better. Oh god, oh god, oh god, where are, is anything I can use to cross? Oh no, I didn't mean to get stuck here, I didn't mean to get stuck here, I didn't mean to get stuck. No, 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 I'm not making any progress. I'm not making any progress. What? I didn't run into anything. What? I didn't run into any, I didn't run into anything. What did it? Is it just because I got too close to where I started? Okay, whatever, fine, I'll take it. Okay, new plan. Run everywhere and constantly be hitting Z to interact with everything. Uh, hello, hello, chair? You chair? No, okay, oh god. Yeah, oh, 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 I got something, I got the, okay, is this is wood? Is it a wood or a giant cinnamon stick? I think it's wood. Okay, come on, come on, put it, okay, go, 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 get across, yes, progress, progress, press Z, of course, press, it's locked, it's locked. Oh, I got the key, I got the key from earlier, right? Or scissor, scissors or key? I don't know why I did scissors. For some reason I thought, oh, I got the scissors more recently, that would work. Whatever, that works, I guess. A key would make more sense. Why did it do scissors? That's so weird. Um, whatever, I'm glad I freaked out and hit the right one. What is this place? Who cares? You're out of that hellhole where all the dolls wanted to kill you. And I fucking hate dolls and now you know why. You never trust dolls. Hello, ooh. Oh, hello, it's a garden. Oh, it's a garden. You truly are special, miss. What do you mean, Mr. Pumpkin? Why don't you go ask the princess? I never want to see her again. I bet she's dying to see you. <laughs> I don't like your puns. What about this one? What do you gotta say? I'm impressed. I wasn't expecting you to get this far. Mr. Pumpkin, where am I? Oh, I don't know, my girl. We could be anywhere. Like on Venus. Okay. Let's go ahead and save. I'm gonna go ahead and save. I hope I have enough files. Um, I don't know why I went here to save again. But I'm gonna leave this episode here. In the next episode, I guess we'll go back up there and we'll talk to probably Fleeta is what I'm guessing. Um, I really wish she wouldn't throw me into dungeon attic -y weird things all the time, but whatever, you know, I guess I can forgive her because our protagonist is weirdly kind. Like, almost too kind. I feel like, and based on what we saw earlier from where her, she had that really creepy smile when uh, Fleeta was talking about her pocket mirror, my guess is that the protagonist, when she gets her memories back, is not near as kind as she is right now. But that's just me kind of thinking about the future of the game. I'm not sure. We'll definitely find out. But anyways, this has been Pocket Mirror. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. <laughs> Speaking hard. Please hit that like button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Valian out. Oh, no. Why does, why does Red have a horse with the tent? What? Friend, no. I need that half. Here, I want you to have my old piston rod. I don't want Willie's rod. I don't want his old rod. I hate dolls. Did I mention that I hate dolls? Ooh.